how's life at home? It's good. It's nice, nice to be back and just a little more relaxed and low key. Well, you have a lot of upcoming projects that are about to come out and that you're doing right now. Yeah, no, it's, it's an exciting time. Congrats on also season two of The Order. Thank you, thank that's you. Yeah, I really hope everyone loves it. I think it's going to be good. It's like, it's pretty crazy. So I think people will love it. Do you watch the, did you watch season one on Netflix? I didn't binge it like right away. I almost needed to like space it out a little bit. But yeah, it was fun to, to, to watch. I think some of the cast like got together and we watched like the first two episodes together. Mm -hmm. and just kind of watched it on my own. For all of the films and shows you do, is it weird watching yourself or do you like it? No, it's definitely weird. Yeah, I think there's, it, it all depends because there's moments that are pretty awesome to watch yourself do and then some of them are kind of cringy and embarrassing and you're, you're like, um, but I think you just have to get used to it, you know? It gets, it gets easier and um, I think it's important to be able to like watch yourself and kind of critique and be like, all right, that worked, that didn't. Like, you know, I thought I was doing that, but it looked like that. So I think it's important for sure. Yeah, and when your friends and family and stuff watch it, what did they usually, like, do they make fun of you? Like, do they say, oh my God, you killed it? What did they usually say to you? Ah, uh, they're super supportive. So I think like, I think they like bolster me up for sure. But um, I think sometimes it's just kind of surreal for them to see it or, or to kind of um, not see it is just Jake for like the first little while. So I think it was more interesting with the order because they had a full season of like mm -hmm. to get to know me as like a character in the show. So yeah, it's, it's fun. You did an interview back in 2015 where you said that like your pinch me moment was like seeing yourself in Heroes Reborn. Since yeah. then, since like 2015, has there been like an updated pinch me moment or like another one that you would add to the memory yeah. book? For sure, for sure. I mean, there's been a lot of them, especially like over the last year. Um, I mean, I just filmed uh, a Netflix movie called Holiday last year that's coming out later this year. And just working with some of that cast, like Frances Fisher, like I grew up watching Titanic and like was a big fan. And she's such a cool lady and she'd come over and we'd, you know, have have a drink and like w listen to music. And I was like, that's a pretty, pretty pinch me moment. Or, um, or working on the set of Midway with like all those guys and like the scale of that set with, with, uh, with Roland Emmerich was definitely like a pinch. Yeah, moment. I saw Midway, like literally the best movie. It's so intense. Like, and then yeah. I was like, oh my God, he's in it. <laughs> I was, I was kind of nerding out with like the sets and everything. And so it was like harder, my very first take, it was really hard to stay in character because the, the actor in me wanted to be like, this is so amazing. And I was trying not to smile in the scene. Yeah. Uh, I hope we get to do that again. Cause like, I need to do a better take where I'm trying not to smile more. The, you've acted in a bunch of different things. What's like one of your like dream roles that you'd want to act out? I would love to do um, something where I'm playing uh, a real person of significance. I've mm -hmm. always said like, doing something like playing Frank Sinatra, like a young Frank Sinatra or something like that. Um, someone that I was a huge fan of. I just think the responsibility of that and getting to dive into that, that person's headspace, that would be, that'd be kind of like a dream job cool. for sure. And when you found out that you got the part in the order for the first like season one, how did you react? And when you found out that it got picked up for season two, how did you react? I mean, the initial one I was, I was so excited and it, it never kind of happens like you think it is. Like you think you're going to get an agent a call or like a call from all your agents and managers. And I think I found out through like a text that my agent had screenshotted of an email saying casting, like it was going to, so it was like, yeah, it was, it was amazing. And um, I was so excited to, to be able to jump on that show with all those people. And um, when we found out we got season two, it was like really quick. Like the show had only been out for, um, I think less than two weeks. It was like 10 days. Uh, oh, wow. So I get the call from Chad Oates, the producer, and it was kind of surprising. I was like, no way. Like, they already decided we're doing season two because I was optimistic, but just, just finding out that we got to go back and, like, have more fun and, and yeah. create more. It's, like, such a good feeling. That's so cool. And can you spill anything on if there's any new romances in season two? Uh, there's definitely new, new romances. Yeah, there's definitely some amazing new characters. We have some really cool guest star cameos from like some known actors that I think fans are going to love. But um, yeah, there's old romances, there's new romances, and there's the struggle of like all of that together. So it's, it's tense and it's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have to ask if there's anything about you getting your memory back. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we get a memory <laughs> back, but it's just how how we get it, and and um, you know, it, t it takes a little bit. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I don't think I don't think it would really work if we didn't get our memories back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we want to play a little game with you if you're down. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Okay, so it's the game of last. So I'll le like read off last time I, and then you'll finish the sentence. Okay. Okay. So the last time you shopped online. Yesterday. On what platform? Or like what um, store? Uh, just on the internet. There's a, a brand actually I'm wearing right now called Ragaman, and I love their stuff. And uh, I've been in touch with them, but they just got a bunch of new stuff in. So I went and ordered some yesterday. Oh, I got it. Um, last person you texted or remember texting? Um, my friend, uh, cause we're going to go play golf. My friend, Dave Provo. I love it. Golf is such yeah. a good like activity. There's <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I'm, t I'm kind of nervous because I haven't played in about a year and I'm not good anyways, but I'm always <laughs> trying to learn, but good luck. <laughs> last time you watched an old show that you were in or movie. Oh, it's been a while. I think I think it would have been it would have been Midway when Midway came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, uh, I bought it on iTunes and 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 rewatched it. Oh, you bought it? Did you go see it in theaters at all? I did see it in theaters, and yeah, I went by myself, and it was like me and a bunch of old men. <laughs> I That's was so you went by yourself. Yeah, I was filming the order in Vancouver at the time, and um, I was like, I have to see it in theaters. Like I I wasn't able to go to the premiere because I was I was filming in Vancouver so I think I went at like 1 p.m on a Wednesday because so it was like one hour off and it, it was just a bunch of senior senior kind of veterans and war guys um, but it was fun I don't know like, hey, yeah, I'm in it but no big deal it's not yeah they really no. <laughs> didn't care uh last person you remember facetiming I just facetimed my girlfriend like 20 minutes ago are you guys not uh quarantine together we were for like the the most part but i just came back home because I, I had to for some stuff and she she stayed out in la with the dog last home workout you did home workout um it's been about three weeks or a month yeah wow our my gym did a soft opening a few weeks ago with like oh. new precautions so i've been getting back in the gym but i was there yesterday oh cool okay Last there. YouTube video you remember watching? Um, I don't know. I think it might have been one of the um, John Krasinski some some good news segments. Yeah. Those are pretty fun. But okay. it's been a few weeks, but I think that was it. Yeah. Last song you listened to? Last song I listened to. Um, I'm really into a guy right now called Sam Fender. And okay, I think I've heard of him. He's a British guy, and he's got a song I really like called That Sound. So I think I was listening to that. When you're out and about in LA and stuff, are people usually, do you find like if you're just like shopping or like at Starbucks or something, like people are like afraid to come up to you or they, they just come up to you? No, I think they're kind of confused because sometimes they'll see me and they'll look at me and they'll be like, and they don't exactly figure it out. They're like, you're in a show. And I'm like, yeah. They're like, is it Legion? I'm like, no. And they'll, they'll guess like three shows and normally have to be like, it's the order. And they're like, oh yeah, the order. And it's always people you wouldn't expect watch that show. Like, um, you know, guys in their mid forties or something. <laughs> Last cast member you talked to from the order. I talked to Adam DeMarco this morning and yesterday. We talk a lot, but um, Adam plays Randall in the show. We went to high school together. So we- oh, wow. We were friends before the show, and it was like an amazing coincidence that we ended up on the show together. And so we, we yeah, we keep in touch. He's out in Vancouver, um, but yeah, we we have like a really similar sense of humor and watch the same like kind of comedy show. So we're always sending each other clips. And like yeah. When you guys were casting for it, did you know you were both casting at the time? No. No, you I didn't. You found out you guys got the part and realized you went to high school together. No, like we, I. I obviously knew he was an actor, but um, I didn't know until they they sent me the full script and it showed each character and which actor was playing that. And then it said Adam DeMarco, and I was like, no way. And we, we kind of called each other. We're like, this is unreal that we get to play friends on the show. And it was just, yeah. It was so That's cool. wild. And the odds of it, like, we're the only kind of two actors from our high school. We grew up in a small town in Canada. And uh, the fact that you ended up on the same Netflix show together. That's yeah. crazy. It's wild. 
Wow. Okay, last food order delivery you got. Ooh. Dude, what was the last one I got? I think it was, um, there's a place near my house in um, LA called Medici, and they do really good uh, pizza, like the Italian style pizza. Yeah. So I think I got that like last week for a treat because I hadn't had it in a long time. Last picture you remember taking on your phone? That might be hard, but, or like oh, your favorite. Yeah, I, the only like photos I take are of my dog, Rupert. I have like a billion of them. And my phone keeps creating like, you know how it sometimes creates albums by itself? Cause it, like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it created an album called like Furry Friends 2020. And it's all pictures of like my dog, Rupert. So. Oh, I love it's Furry Friends. <laughs> the <Yeah>. same dog. <laughs> I, hate that, but I love it. I love it. Last time you watched an episode from The Order season one. Honestly, when it came out, yeah, I kind of, I could watch the whole thing and then I just kind of departed from it. Mm -hmm. And what are you most looking forward to doing when life goes back to normal? Two things, you know, just being with a bunch of friends and family, like hanging out. Um, actually, three things. Traveling, I would love to be able to get out and, and travel again but also just being on set like working on something whether it be like season three or or um getting back on like a movie and i love being on set i love being with that mix of people so i'm really looking forward to getting back there yeah for sure well thank you so much jake for talking to us today uh, thank you. It, was, it was awesome I mean, great questions